Legal daggers were drawn at the Court of Appeal as the government's legal team and court's lawyers took their positions following Attorney General Gidumwe Gai's appeal against a court decision suspending eight clauses in the Security Laws Amendment Act. His Lordship received arguments on whether the matter before him raised substantial questions of constitutional law. He made a finding a clear and an ambiguous finding that they did. What does that mean then? It means that his lordship, inadvertently of course, put the cat before the horse. The judge not only generously and gratuitously granted the orders, but granted these orders based on a conflicting and con contradictory reasoning. Because your jurisdiction in party is based fundamentally on the notice of appeal. And if there is no competent notice, if there is a defective notice, then my Lord, you must down your tools uh, because there would be no jurisdiction. So we are saying the appeal has little or no chance of success here. Lordship, it is already as we speak in ICU. We beg this court to switch off the life machine and let go for the petition. That is the story. Appearing before a three appellate court judges bench, Kinoti Kathurima, Patrick Kiage and Agnes Murgor, the Attorney General said the suspension was beyond the jurisdiction of High Court Judge George Odunga, a plea that was rebuffed by court's lawyers and the Law Society of Kenya, which is appearing as a friend of the court. In our very humble view, a judge should hesitate to declare an act of parliament invalid for whatever purpose whatsoever, even for a day or a week or a month or a year, except after a full consideration of the matter, a full consideration of the jurisprudence, and a proper analysis of the procedure. Because your jurisdiction in party is based fundamentally on the notice of appeal. And if there is no competent notice, if there is a defective notice, then my Lord, you must down your tools uh, because there would be no jurisdiction. It's proper for Justice Odunga to hear the application as a single judge and to grant it. The respondents are also challenging the validity of the case and the director of prosecution, Kiriako Tobiko, threw in a spanner into the works by reading out a contradiction in the ruling. My Lord, the orders given by the judge in the High Court were discretionary orders and so long as those orders were given judiciously, this court should hesitate. from staying those orders. That the greatest possible public impatience with our old judiciary was the feeling documented over and over and over again that our courts were not about justice, that they were about technicalities, and that we were a great conspiracy against the common man. So if involvement of the court would save Clause 15 from suspension. Shouldn't the same reasoning, my Lord, apply to the rest of the clauses, including the one about special operations by NIOS? The judges have retreated to write the ruling to be issued next week on Friday. The contentious issues that resulted in the acrimonious passage of the Security Laws Amendment Act of 2014 have found their ways into the corridors of justice with two pending cases both at the Court of Appeal and at the High Court. Human rights bodies as well as the opposition coalition insisting that the war is long from being over. Alex Kubasu, Monday Special in Nairobi.